tag to somebody who can answer this question. You ready? Why did George Washington encourage all citizens to grow hemp? Raise your hand if you know. Yes, on the map. Rope. Rope? That's good enough. Yeah, for the merchant marine and for the navy, hemp made rope, hemp made uh, canvas for the sails, and hemp made all the rigging. Where did the canvas come? Okay, um, I should have mentioned you get your choice of prizes here. Uh, I've got. Did anybody see Evergreen, the, the movie that we made about the fire here in, in Washington State? This is really cool. You can see this on uh, Netflix or uh, iTunes or whatever, but I've got a bunch of them here. So if you win this next little question, you can take the Evergreen movie, you can take my book called Travel as a Political Act, or you can take another hemp bag. How many thousand people did not get arrested last year in Washington State on marijuana crimes? Raise your hand if you know. Yes. So close. Wrong direction. <laughs> What's that? Five thousand. Who said five thousand? You did. Would you like uh, the Evergreen movie, the Trouble is a Little Black Bag, or a hemp bag? Not that bag. I'm not offended, even though I wrote the book. <laughs> there you go. Who said four thousand? That was pretty close. Is that you? You want the movie, the book, or the bag? On the bag, okay. Well, that's okay, hemp bags are popular. We like hemp. I, as a matter of principle, price these as the same as my petroleum bags in my office, even though we lose a little money on them. Okay, there you go, thank you. Now there's no more bags, so this book is going to get real popular. <laughs> okay, so in Washington last year, we did not arrest 5,000 people who we would have arrested otherwise. If anybody tells you any downside of I-502, they might say this little problem or that little problem, Maybe it costs more because it's taxed. 5,000 people are not having their lives screwed up by being arrested last year alone. That's a big deal. <laughs> How many thousand people were arrested in the last 12 months in your state, Oregon, because, arrested or cited, it had a, a, got some kind of a run-in with the police and a record and so on for marijuana? 3,500. 13,000. Who said 12, 12, 13, Who said that? Yeah, you got it. Do you want the Evergreen movie? It's 13,000 people in your state. Wow. Um, that's probably a little more than Washington because it's cited or arrested. And you guys smoke more pot than us. But, um, <laughs> but it's still a lot of people. 13,000. Each one of those is several hours of police time. You know, in New York, they had a big deal where they would stop and frisk people at the end of the day. Because the police officer took three or four hours to book him and it would be all overtime, time and a half. And then that kid has a record and the policeman made a little extra money. Uh, what would you like, the book or the, the movie? The book. The book? Yeah. Nice man! <laughs> Travel has a political act. It's got a whole chapter on European drug policy. All right. Um, do I have another question? Yes. When President Nixon classified marijuana as a Schedule I drug, more dangerous than cocaine, in a class with heroin, what year was that? 1970, who said that? Do you want the book or the movie? Thank you. I've got a book right here. 1970, Nixon put marijuana in the Schedule I. Next question. Who was he mad at in order to do that? <laughs> hippies! You got it! He was mad at the hippies! And that was their drug. He wanted to piss them off. So he made their drug the worst one. Uh, would you like the book or the movie? All right. I got the book. All right. The movie's really great. <laughs> okay, and then why was... Um... Oh, specifically, why was he upset with the hippies at that time? Anti-war. Who claimed that one? You did. And you get the movie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know this because Bud Eagle Crow. Have you heard that name? He was one of the Watergate guys. Uh, he lives up in my town of Edmonds. And he took me out to dinner and he told me what it was like when Nixon 
deputized Elvis as the drug sheriff or whatever. <laughs> and he told me how furious Nixon was at the hippies. And we thought this will fix him. Well, fine. But since then, a million people have been arrested for marijuana. And we're going to change that.